number one. Where do you have that? <laughs> Welcome to your new bed. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna hold it like this <laughs> when we go driving. Oh my god! I right, can probably let go. So first impression and the big reveal. What do we have here? We've got a pulley bed lift system. <laughs> DIY. Yacht themed. <laughs> so it's going to be a yacht sail winch on the bed that we're going to crank the handle. That's going to theoretically pull this thing up perfectly evenly. Once I work out the rope lengths. We've got two double pulleys here. All the brands Ronston. So it's an Australian um, yachting brand. Got the smaller single pulley blocks with stainless steel 316i plates in the ceiling. These are tracks that we had powder coated white down the road for a sliding door that we got from Bunnings. So normally they sit horizontally and the door will slide back and forward. But we're using those as runners so they have bearings in them and that helps it slide up nice and smooth I guess with little friction and then we yeah we just bought this $44 white rope and we all we got warned by a um a boaty that this would get dirty really quickly and we're like ah oh, it'll be fine we want it to be white <laughs> it's already filthy just from today <laughs> so he was a hundred percent correct <laughs> so we may be moving to a black rope and down here we've got a French 316 stainless coupe eye plate thing and these are thimbles that will be tied up here with the rope it's eight millimeter rope it's got like a breaking strain of about 600 kilos similar to the pulleys i wanted it to be a mechanical yacht theme kind of bed we'd originally like i said wanted to have actuators and have it be push a button and but i, I want it to be mechanical and we kind of want to go with a bit of a yacht theme in here so the cushions and stuff and the vibe that we're going to go with in here a little bit marine I guess so yeah it'll sit up here we'll tie it off I'll show you the sail winch later we need to work out exactly where to mount that but yeah the bed it works so when Chris explained a little bit about the bed actuator system a few people recommended a brand uh, I believe American brand called Happy Jack which is a great bed lift system Unfortunately, there's a few cons to the system. The main one being how expensive it is, around 2,800 Australian dollars. So it is a lot of money for what it is. And the second as well, big con is it's currently actually out of stock. There's only one distributor in Australia. And when we contacted them, they had 40 back orders. Mm -hmm. So we definitely had to find, I guess, another option. And on YouTube, there are just so many tutorials. So I guess we're gonna like look at so many of them and took a bit of inspiration from a few different setup and I guess made it our own, like with the tracks and like and third con actually with the happy jack is the shortest one was actually too tall for in here anyway oh, yeah. so, so we would have not been able to make it I work i don't think you could cut it to size anyway and then you've got your seat belt ones we could only find one full kit i think that was 2400 mm -hmm. and um it looked a bit dinky the one that i saw uh, I'm sure that system would work, but I, yeah, we really want to. I'm sure it, it would different. suit a lot of people better because, like, I mean, at this stage right now, this looks really primitive and and, and I guess very basic. But I guess once Chris has perfectioned the system, it should look pretty schmick. I hope so. We'll see.
So these are the bottom cushion. So we're testing our foam for the first time in the camper. Obviously we received it after we actually made the bed frame. So that makes the testing a little bit more challenging than we would have liked. But we have made a temporary anchor for a bed. And now we're placing the foam. Oh my god. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is so ergonomic. <laughs> ah. My head is in the bed. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like that. Hello. <laughs> Testing the bed for the first time. Mattress with holes. <laughs> so this is basically just the wedge that we just put on top. So this is how it will be we'll probably leave the bottom cushion just remove the two back cushion and have them either out of the camper under the bed uh, we're not too sure exactly where we'll put them yet but that's not too much you know hassle in that respect and one thing as well that we really wanted with the bed design and the reason why the bed sits low like that is we wanted a lot of headroom above us to not feel claustrophobic right now i feel like we actually nailed that one yeah. because we kind of like at like window level so we have got the view we've got we'll be a bit higher because we're gonna have some slots we're gonna go to ikea tomorrow to pick that up but yeah no we're quite happy in that respect and um we're hoping that i think the form we realize might be a bit right now too firm because it's brand new we're hoping a weight on it will make it a bit softer over time it will for sure wow this is cool so tomorrow i don't know about sleeping on a wedge <laughs> no but... that looks a bit dodgy <laughs> like there's, suspect, like, there's a hole just on there <laughs> get vertigo just go to bed <laughs> But yeah, picking up tomorrow the queen size bed. So yeah, we'll show you when we got everything. All right, so before we talk about the bed, what's happening behind us, I think Chrissy Boy needs a coffee. And I might need one as well because it's been a bit of a headache today making the system works. So the gums to the rescue as always this year, it's been amazing to be able to get some amazing coffees from them. So I highly recommend you check their website out. If you're after a Christmas gift, I would say it's probably one of the best Christmas gifts you can do for someone who likes coffee. They've got as well a new product, which I'm looking forward to try. I've just bought the jug for it. They have just released for summer the cold brew bags, which is just right here. I haven't tried it yet, so I'll let you know once I've tried it. But if it's as good as the red gum, the one that we've been using all year round, I would say that's going to be pretty amazing. So if you want to give it a try, you can have the code the outfit for 10% off from our friends at the gum. So definitely check it out. And here you go. Oh no, forgot the milk. In the fridge I go. Da -da -da -da. That is so good to be able to finally test it. I know the fridge, a lot of people are triggered by having the door the other way, but I actually fit quite easily, so it doesn't bother me at all. Maybe Chris will have a little bit more trouble than me, but like... So far, it's been... It's been pretty good, eh? Yeah, it doesn't bother me that much. All right, coffee. All right, Courtesy so of the gums. Cheers. And we have no placemat yet, so this is the gums placemat. <laughs> All right, so I've just prepared my cold brew. I put three sachets in this little jug that I bought from IKEA yesterday. I'm gonna let it sit overnight and just have my normal coffee for now. And I wanted to show you as well these new pots and pans. Um, I know that someone asked me in a previous video the one I was using previously. These are new ones I bought at BCF. I think they've got a sale until Christmas. They are wanderers um, pots and pans that are suitable for induction, for gas or electric. So yeah, very happy with them. They've got those detachable handles. Let me see if I can do it. I probably will need to put a camera on. I'm sorry. All right, so this is what it looks like here. So you just have to turn this little thing, press the button, and ta-da, you've got your little detachable handle. Very practical, and then you can just stack your pots and pans in your cupboard. How do you 
Yeah, do that. You're holding the pan now, so if you don't hold the pan, it might work. Or is it noise? Call to coffee. <laughs> My Chrissy boy is rejuvenated. He had caffeine. Oh, I crashed so hard. Just <laughs> this stressed me out. So I'm loving this new hole that we've got in the side of the bed. That's brilliant. That's the, I guess, the only con of today that we're gonna have to find something to hide that. But I told Chris I will find him something nice to put there. Yeah, we'll make it look like it was meant to be, right? Yes. So we've moved the winch to a stationary spot here and it now works brilliantly so it's what i thought was going to happen with the winch being attached to the bed alas that was not to be no matter what i did it was always pulling up the bed on one side and it was just tearing the bearings apart so just wasn't going to work so now that it's stationary it's brilliant only downside is the rope hangs a tiny bit in the entrance it's actually kind of promoted my yacht themed uh, sort of idea that i want to go <laughs> with so i'm actually really really happy with it we're going to change this all for black rope which i didn't want black rope but this is already so dirty yeah. so it's only going to get really bad from here so i'm going to change out for black rope won't show all the stains and dirt and we're going to put some more thimbles in and make it look a bit cleaner obviously yes and the last stage obviously this is not the proper tight on point that we'll have we've got like a nice stainless steel kind of point i'm not too sure we might need to get familiarized with all those yacht and marine like words because like it's all new to us we might need as well it's called a cleat oh you know yeah, i had to look it up yeah so it's a cleat <laughs> you'll that say that so you wrap it around all right the one thing that then we might need to get familiar familiarized with is all like the nuts how to do them like so that they can stay nice and strong i've learned already the one around the thimble thimble yep but yeah i think we need a little bit more um we need some more lessons in that respect and as well you can see above chris we've got our ikea slots that we just placed on we so we so they were all attached by a little bit of kind of rope <laughs> But like a it, ribbon. The bed's just a tiny bit different size than what they were designed for. So we cut all the rope and we've glued them on individually in the spots that we need them. And they still flex. And the glue that we're using uh, flexes as well. So it should be really, really good. So we're about ready to put the mattress up there. Yes. Ooh. The land yacht. That's, the land yacht indeed. That's the name of the camper itself. This land yacht. Base camp land yacht. The mothership. <laughs> what do you think? What we should call it? The Viathon. Oh my god. All right, where is our mattress? I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Right, first roll. First roll. First roll. No dirty hands. No dirty hands. No dirty feet on the mattress. Okay. Until there are sheets. Doesn't on it. apply to me. This is good content. Huh? <laughs> Ten hours later. Okay, maybe I do need help. All right. Help. Ah. Oh. Uh. What's going on? Oh, this is frustrating. We're <laughs> talking about too much packaging. Jeez. It's gonna end up in the ocean. Ta-da! So this is the result. We had to slightly trim the edges because obviously with our bed frame configuration that took a little bit of the dimension of the queen on each side and then we didn't want it to rip against the aluminium that we've got on there. So huge thank you to our legend Clint for the idea for cutting the frame. Great idea. What so, did we use? So what he did was he ground down the edges of a hacksaw blade so that it didn't have the big serrations uh, through the sides but still sharp on the top and that cut right through it. We're, so clever. We were ready to just use like normal scissors and I would have butchered <laughs> it so not. we're glad we got some great tips for that. Oh I can't wait. Thinking. I wish I could just like jump on it right now but I will be scared of. Oh, oh this is so exciting. I'm and so we, happy we actually finished the build with the that. bed. 
Because if we started with this, it would have just seemed weird. Imagine how filthy this would have got. Oh to, my god, no. This would have been in our heads the whole time. So I'm really happy we did it this yeah, way. Yeah, at first I regretted that we actually finished with that because by now we could have slept in the mug, but that's going to make the first sleep in the mug so much oh, more rewarding. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we're going to replace the ropes with Buy some our sheets. black rope. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well earned. And the last thing for today, a huge, huge thank you to my parents. Merci, Mamou and Papou. It's our Christmas gift from them, so that means a lot. It's so amazing. We can't wait to try it, so thank you so much. Merci, Papou. the finished result that is complete so we've got an anderson winch here so handle just locks in place and it's removable as well so that won't normally be there so a nice endless uh, anderson stainless steel sail winch and then goes to a stainless steel cleat to tie the rope off on they're both just mounted on some birch ply and then onto our paneling and we also have these 316 stainless Eye bolts, I guess they're called. Just a new addition to the system. And they go through the rail. So I drilled them through the rail and then they plonk right through. And then we lower the actual bed frame onto these. And uh, so now it's really secure and it allows us to take the load off the rope and the pulley blocks, but also still be able to lock it up as an extra safety. So um, yeah, really, 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 really stoked with it. And as you can see, this is the black rope. So I think it will just take a little bit of time just to get used to it. But it doesn't look bad at all. It kind of like match all the little black accent that we've got in the mug. I would prefer white rope, as I've already said. <laughs> but um, black is definitely going to be more practical for us. And we can easily change it down the road. That is very The true. whole system is really easy to change out. So that's the cool thing about these... Um, what do you call them, Ange? Thimbles. So the thimbles you can untie really easy and change it all out. Exactly. Then, moving on, as you can see, we still don't have like a ceiling above, I guess, our heads. This is still a work in progress. We've got a wire coming up over there. This will yeah. be where Chris will be wiring some have lights. any tips for how to wire something that's moving, that would be greatly appreciated. So, basically the issue we're going to have is as the bed lowers, the wire is going to spall and it's going to get crushed by the bed. <laughs> So I'm thinking maybe some sort of tensioning system with a spring or maybe a bungee cord. But if you've done something like that before, please let me know because I have not. Uh, so that'll be an interesting Yeah, so one. right now it's kind of like coming out the platform, hidden at the back, and then There's somewhere now, over here. <laughs> there will be uh, four lights on, on this yep, to shine the over The same as area. those ones here. Yeah. All right, and as you can see underneath our feet, we have officially finished with the aluminium! <laughs> oh my god, yes! I think yesterday when we actually finished, it was such a hard day yesterday. Like it didn't go to plan. It was like everything we were doing were like dragging. And we didn't really realize that it was the end of the aluminium. We started in July the construction of the inside of the camper and this is finally the end of it no more brackets oh. no more aluminium so be happy if I never saw this aluminium again <laughs> and so this is where we'll have our obviously our table platform where we'll have our feet so we'll be a bit elevated uh, we won't show you quite yet I guess the table that we've got um, and tabletop and all that kind of thing that will be coming up in a future episode so it's quite high off the ground, so it's like a little elevated platform. This will be storage for shoes and things like that. And then the sponge that we have is 10 centimeters high, so that's going to lift us up another mm -hmm. 10 centimeters and should be the perfect height for us and still enable us to have lots of storage under here. Then moving on to the under 
storage here next to the diesel heater a lot of you suggested we get a carbon monoxide alarm just got this one from anaconda it was on sale very good reviews we hope we never have to reuse it but in case we've got an exhaust leak as few of you maybe suggested it we've tested it and it's crazy loud there's no chance we could sleep through that <laughs> it's powerful feels like having it right next to the diesel heater is the best place for it then Chris sealed the exhaust of the diesel heater. We found like a product that was mm. as well recommended by one of you on YouTube. So thank you. Yeah, um, so it's the, the, it's the exhaust manifold sealant. So it's the really high temperature stuff. So that seems to have gone hard and made a really good bond there, which is cool. So I'll probably use it in a few other areas where cables coming through the floor. Then, as you can see, we have officially finished the cabinetry on our electronics cabinet which is amazing that looks so much nicer obviously now and then this is where the <laughs> yeah that definitely makes like a complete kind of like finish and then in a the kitchen we've got a little new addition this magnetic rack which you can have like knives we chose to have some little spices so i've already bought five of them i've got one more to choose what i'm gonna have but yeah that's pretty cool that makes like a nice little feature and serves some space for the rest of the kitchen and then on our overhead cabinet, ooh, ta da! We've got some little gas struts, which doesn't seem like much, but at least like that, you can reach the pantry quite easily. And I can see it's filled with coffee, which is great. We need to buy more food. We've got as well some more wall cladding done. So, this is where our third Truma air conditioning unit will come. So, we'll get some fresh air when we sit in the couch, which is really nice. So yeah, we've done actually quite a bit this week. I think yesterday was a bad day and we were like forgetting how much we've done. Mm. We've done the bad well. thing was the big, that was the doozy of the whole build really. If we couldn't make this work effectively and safely, the whole thing was gonna be a bit of a disaster. So <laughs> that's a huge, huge relief for us. Now we finally have a bed in our little tiny home. So all we need to do is clad that with something. If you can think of a good product for up here, that would be great. We don't want to use, we were originally thinking this really lightweight wall cladding that we've used before, but we've done a few tests on it and it does crush and deform. So with all of our weight on it, it may not work mm. so well. So if you can think of a, a cool lightweight product that has big sheets, <laughs> which is the tricky we're part. We're not demanding at all. Uh, then that would be great. That has a nice finish. Um, so yeah, we'll think of a few things, but that's not 100% necessary right now yeah. before Christmas time. Very much. Right now we can go on a trip for Christmas, which is amazing news. So in this coming week, we'll just get ready for it. I guess do a uh, little finishing touches and pack and yeah, we'll take you along on our final week just before Christmas. And then we will yeah see you, I guess, next year after we come back refreshed and to finish the build so yeah huge huge accomplishment this week oh yeah yeah. Oh, yeah so thank you so much everyone for watching if you have made it that far you are a legend because <laughs> we know this build has been dragging a bit this year but as you can see there's right. a lot of work yes. involved so thank you so much everyone for the support the comments the likes Hope you can subscribe if you're not subscribed already. We're getting close to 40,000. Yes, please hit that button. <laughs> we, I know we need to show how to do it on the TV because it's not super easy. But basically, long story short, you go out of the video, you click on our actual thumbnail picture on the TV, and then from there it goes to our channel. You can press subscribe, but we will show how to do that. If we can hit 40K Ooh, by the end of the year that would be incredible and we will do a giveaway if that happens that is very true we've got some cool prices coming up so yes yeah, stay tuned for that see you next week cheers